Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Kind of random, I'm shooting a video in my truck, but let's just go for it. Today I wanna to talk to you about the Through Night Archer Pro. So here's what it is, a compact little EDC flashlight. I'll give you the details on the lumen output. Um, a couple things about this, USB-C rechargeable, um, and it has the infinity loop, so it's not gonna kind of go from one level to the next, it's gonna phase up and phase down. Um, max turbo output at over a thousand lumens and down to, I think, 0.41 lumens, 0.41 lumens for your lowest output. So here's a quick look at it. Like I said, compact EDC flashlight. Does have the switchback on the um, on the uh, clip there, so you can put it on your hat, like, let's see if I can do this, like so. So a little bit front heavy, just by the nature of its size, but um, that's that. Pretty smooth here, as far as your texture. There's your end pressure switch. It isn't rubberized. It's um, probably like a heavy duty plastic or something. It's not rubberized and it's not um, metal as well. And then when you want to charge it, let's see if I can do this. Yeah, just twist this section. And then that will reveal your, right there, your USB-C. And then you charge it up and basically it's going to be red. And then when it's fully charged, it's going to show blue in the little light right next to the uh, the charging port. So compact little little EDC light. I would say like the Olight uh, batons are probably about this big, the down, like from my thumb to this finger. And then obviously this is like another inch bigger right there. Here's the box, it comes in, nothing fancy. It does have a QR code. It doesn't take you to, um, it's not gonna take you directly to all the information about this. It's gonna take you to Three Nights website. Um, it does come with the instructions and then also with a USB-C. I had another USB-C, so I just charged uh, the light without that. It does not come with extra extra O-rings. So just a heads up on that front. There's no extra O-rings with it. Um, and the reason is because there's nothing that's going to completely remove um, so that you would need, I don't, let's see, is there an O-ring here? No, I don't even think there's an O-ring there. No. Yeah, there's no O-rings that I can see on it because that's threaded right there and the end cap doesn't come off. The battery is built in, which I will tell you, um, I would prefer that it wasn't. I'd prefer use a smaller battery um, than an 18650, um, but I would prefer a removable battery just because if when the battery's dead, then it's dead. Now, uh, I don't know the number of charges that you're going to go through with this light. It's not going to be 10. You know, you're going to have this for, unless you're recharging it, unless you're operating it like straight through the night all the time, you're going to be able to recharge this dozens and dozens of times. Um, so, you know, it's going to last for a while, but I'm personally more of a fan of removable batteries than built in batteries, rechargeable versus double A's, triple A's. We can have a conversation, but in general, let me remove my batteries. I don't want to have them built in, but that's my preference on things. Let me give you the rundown on the, um, on the outputs and what that all looks like. As usual, through night has their instructions and it comes in a couple different languages. So you have a firefly at 0 0.41 lumens for 15 days. That's going to run. Your infinity low is 13 lumens for 37, 37 hours. Your infinity high is 478 lumens for one minute, and then it's going to drop to 208 for 150 minutes. And then your turbo is 1022 lumens. That's going to run for a minute and a half, and then drop down to 191 lumens. That's going to run for 145 minutes. So um, the 478 for a minute and then drop to 208, you know, 478, almost 500. But in general, like if it's going to only run for a minute, I'm saying, okay, it's probably running closer to, um, you know, if you went up to say 300, I bet you it would give you much more, much better burn time. So um, you'll see as it goes from the low to the high, you have that full range since it's the infinity loop. Um, max distance, it says 134 meters for the throw. It's drop resistant to 1.5 meters. IPX8 rated, so good down to two meters. Um, it does have a lockout mode. So they describe that here. So um under the lockout mode, press and hold the tail switch to unlock the flashlight to enter Firefly mode. Under Firefly mode, press and hold the tail switch to access the lockout mode. So I'm going to hold this down. You're going to see it come on. Now it's on Firefly mode. Now I'm going to hold it down again. I released and then I held it down again. Now it's in lockout mode. So when I bump it, it's just going to flash to say I'm in lockout mode. Hold it down and then eventually it's going to flash like that. Now it's in Firefly mode. And now when I hold it, when I unclick it, it's basically gonna start going through the infinity cycle up and down. So lockout mode, you got that. Um, you click it, it's gonna to go to the last, it has memory basically, so it's gonna to go to the last setting that you had it on. Um, hold it, there's the cycle down, and you'll see it flash. There's the flash, hold it down now. 
Let's see, that's gonna go back up to the highest and then hold it, keep holding it back down. Double click to turbo, triple click to the strobe. So strobe warning, here we go. One, two, three, there's your strobe. Click it again and off. So function is simple, nothing fancy about it. Um, gets the job done. It's very slim profile. Like um, it's even, it may be a little bit slimmer than your Olight batons. Um, so as far as EDC, definitely EDC friendly. We'll take this, take this out into the night and use it, show you what that looks like. Um, and then I'll come back here to the truck and report in and give you some thoughts on this uh, on this light. All right, we're outside now and we're looking at my truck, which is right in front of the house. We're gonna start off at Firefly. So the Firefly setting right here, you can see my hand and shining at the truck. It's a little bit reflecting back. I can see it. It's about probably 20, 15, 20 feet away, but um, certainly not a ton of light, but you know, getting around the house or moving around quietly at night, that amount of light. This has the infinity loop, so we'll show you 13 lumens here, and then we'll cycle up to the highest output. So there's 13 lumens shining at the truck over there. And we're gonna cycle up to 478 here. So there's 478. Looking around. And then we're gonna double click to go up to turbo here. And again, turbo is going to be 1022 lumens. So here's turbo. Actually doesn't look a ton different on camera between the uh, high and the turbo. I'll do strobe here, so strobe warning. There's your strobe and off. All right, we're out in the yard now looking at a playset which is about 60 feet away. And this is 478, so your high setting. zoom the camera in here so you can definitely make it out uh, just fine on camera there i would definitely uh i would certainly call this more of a flood when it comes to what the um the light looks like coming out of the flashlight so again there's your 478 let's go up to the turbo which again i believe is 1022 yeah 1022 here's turbo Yeah, I would call this overall a very balanced light, whether it's on turbo or the other setting or the lower settings uh, as far as your output. So it's, uh, it's quite balanced. Let's uh, go from the 478 down now to 13. So there it is at 13. Can't see a ton there, but you can see my hand. And then I'll go back to turbo here. And now we'll go to strobe, so strobe warning. All right, so I'm gonna cycle up till I can see decently on the camera here. All right, so again, I can't give you an exact lumen output because this is the infinity, infinity loop, but let me kind of turn the camera a little bit and look around. So we got some chairs over there. You can see some of the uh, stone wall. I'm gonna go up a little bit higher to see that. Cycling up here. So just a little bit less than 500 lumens. You can see the stone wall, which is about 100 feet away. Now we'll go to turbo again. Now I'm gonna switch the location of the camera and uh, put it over by the wall, and then I'll shine the light back at the camera so you can see what that looks like. We're looking off in the woods now, just to show you what it looks like in a more wooded setting. And so here's Firefly. Uh, you can see 
10, 12 feet ahead of you, not a, not a whole lot. And then let me uh, bring it down to the lowest setting. So you can see a little bit of that lowest setting. I think that's again 13 lumens. Let's go up to the high, 478. So there's your high. And I could I can pretty clearly see, I would say, 50 feet, 60 feet off into the woods and side to side, probably 10 feet apart. Let's go to turbo here. So again, a super balanced light. A little bit of a hotter center when you're looking. Um, like when I point it straight out, straight down at the lawn. But in general, very balanced. So this is that turbo setting you could see quite well. You could certainly walk around with this thing in the woods. And again, it does have that switchback feature, so you could put this on a baseball hat to uh, to have hands-free operation of the light. And again, let me go back to the lower settings, as so you can see what that looks like. There's down quite a bit, and then all the way down, there's going up again. Let's go down to a lower setting. There's that. And here's strobe one more time. So strobe warning. So there is some footage that I got of the Archer Pro in use. Price point for this today is $29.99. It's Prime Day, so you're gonna save 10 bucks. But in general, through night will give you like a seven, eight, nine, ten dollar um discount code just by clicking that little box. So I'm gonna say ballpark, it's probably gonna run you about 30 bucks on the regular. So um, 30 bucks giving you up to a max of over a thousand lumens. And then, you know, I would say safely giving you some nice burn time around 300 lumens, give or take. Um, yeah, uh, pluses to this, USB-C rechargeable, just untwist this as opposed to pulling off like a little rubber cap to um, access the access the port for charging it. Downside is that um, it's got a built-in battery and and maybe you know, maybe they'll you know If you have one of these tell me I have tried in every which way to try to like remove the uh, Remove the end cap or move the top, but it looks like the battery is just built in so That to me is a downside. Let me look here what it says. I was looking for details on the um, on the actual battery uh, The the LED is a Cree XP L2 star one. I'm not sure what that is uh, LED Orange peel reflector, working voltage is 2.75 to 4.2 volts. It's 6061 T6 aluminum, premium type three hard anodized finish. Your dimensions are 96 by 21. Um, so again, built-in battery. I'm not personally a fan of that. That's me. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Functional light. Um, are there other lights from Night that I would choose over this one? Probably. I'd probably go with one, like a 90 degree angle light that you can use for a, a headlamp and also for a light. Um, and then probably something a little bit bigger than this and with the 18650 so I could remove it. That's my preference. I think it still has a place for EDC. Um, but yeah, the one other thing to note too is that they've really kind of, I don't know if they've done it consciously, but they've dropped down the amount of knurling and texture there. So it's quite smooth. So that's good for EDCing because it's not gonna like tear, tear your um, pants pocket, but also just be aware when you take it out of your pocket, it's pretty, I don't call it slick, but it's smooth. So don't let it uh, fall and drop on you. But um, yeah, the Through Night Archer Pro running about 30 bucks. What are your thoughts? Let's hear your feedback. For me, uh, this will be one that, you know, it may see some use. I may pass it on to somebody else. Um, there's other lights from Through Night that I just prefer more. But for somebody who wants a compact EDC light, wants to spend 30 bucks, eh, maybe it's something that could work for you. So let's hear your thoughts and your feedback. And um, yeah, let's get that conversation started in the comment section now. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.